on the front you get these remnants of a former attraction looks like this used to be a carousel inside an education center right up near the parking lot restroom locations so this is the pricing hey everybody Tom ever Tom's road tripping I am in Binghampton New York and today I'm visiting the Burnhampton Zoo at Ross Park. This is the fifth oldest zoo in the United States, having been established in 1875. So it's pretty neat to see this place still going after all these years. Uh, it is in a basically a rustic location inside Ross Park. A lot, lots and lots of trees. The trails are all, you know, going basically through the woods. So. This is a smaller zoo, uh, but they do have a very nice variety of animals. Uh, for a smaller zoo, they have a couple uh, more exotic species that you wouldn't normally find at a, at a smaller zoo. So I didn't see a map, so I'm gonna check and see if they have maps at the front of the park, and we'll go from there. All right, so this is the zoo map. This is right here at the at the ticket center, right here at the entrance. I completely missed this when I first came in. So yeah, it's like I said, be, be prepared to walk. Mile trail all the way around. All right, first up, you got the children's zoo. You got Flemish rabbits. Ah, look how big these bunny rabbits are. Wow. You some big bunny rabbits, aren't you? Wow, we got phantom chickens. Ooh, wow. Yes, sir, a little mini chicken. Got a nice rooster on the right and a chicky on the left. All right, so we got Shetland the sheep, alpine goat. Got pygmy goat and Nigerian dwarf goat. See the sheep and all the goaty goats. Hi, goaty goats. Oh, 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 got an itch, got an itch. Hi, how are you? You guys want some yum yums? You guys want some yum yums? Well, no, 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 take my cup. Don't take my cup. No. Here you go, goaty goat. Here you go, baby. Give you some too. Wait, I gotta give some to the other one too. Hold on, hold on. Got a sheepy sheep right here. Mmm, yum, yum, yum. There you go. There you go. You want some also? Come on. Come on. Here you go. No, 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 it's for the other one. This is for the other one. Stop. Here, baby. Go. Alright, here you go. Have some more, I guess. Hi, guys. Here you go. You just put your hand out flat with the food in it. They're very, very friendly. Very nice. Here you go. Yeah, they're very, they're very nice when you eat the food out of your hand. They don't bite or anything. All right, you got some other goody goods over here. Some yum yums for you. And some yum yums for you. Here you go. Oh, oh, other one over here waiting. Hi. Here's some for you. There you go. And over here at the fence, like, hey, hey, don't forget about me. I want some also. Other one standing up. Wait, wait. I want some also, please. Oh. He almost fell over. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go, baby. There you go. Good. There you go. It's a good goat. There you go. You got this other little goat you go right here. Hi. There you go, baby. No, oh, don't push my hand over. No, that is rude. Hey, 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 hey. That is rude. There you go. There you go. <laughs> I'm stuck its mouth in my hand. It's trying to push my hand over. There's enough for everybody, okay? Here. Come on. This one tried to come over multiple times. I was kind of scared. I don't know if it's afraid of my camera. Alright, that's fine. It's 
the uh, little sheepy sheep. Yeah. Oh, yeah, left a piece. Here you go, baby. Come back up. Here. Come on. Ugh. All right, here, here. I'll throw, it on, I'll throw it on the ground for you since you can't come and get it out of my hand. Okay. The other one's a little skittish, apparently. Just came around the bend. So this one right here. Hey! Oh, I dumped it out. I'm sorry. Sorry, I kind of dumped it on the ground. That's all that's left. Sorry. Sorry, sheepy sheep. So yeah, all sorts of different goats. Got more in the back. Always enjoy the goats. We got Palace's cat. So I was looking on the habitat and I do see one here on the top. Here we go. Are a little bit larger than a house cat. Unless you got a big house cat. Hi kitty. There we go. That's looking through the glass. Nice looking kitty cat. Alright, and the second palace's cat is inside. So they have access to be inside or outside. Whoa, look at that look he's giving me. How dare you! Alright, we got Red Panda. So Red Panda's outdoor habitat. You can see their door is open. And I do see two red pandas inside Mr. Evening Habitat. So yeah, all the animals have the choice whether to be inside or be outdoors. Both just kind of hanging out. Well, we got black and white roughed lemur. This is the lemur habitat. There we go, there's one of them outside. Always enjoy the black and white rough lemurs. Hi lemur! Hi! Lemurs indoor habitat. Alright, so you got Cinerous Vulture. And you see right here, vultures have been moved temporarily to schedule maintenance on their habitat. So yeah, the gate is open. So it looks like they're doing some upkeep on the habitat. So not sure if it's going to be in an alternate location on, you know, where it's viewable or behind the scenes. You see the hilly terrain here. Nice walking pathway. All right, we got cougar up top. Not really sleeping, kind of just laying there, or well, just had his head up. Hi. Very nice looking kitty cat. Cougar. Yo, let's chat. Got oh, sand cat. I think oh, that one's white. And I got this one sand cat right up against the glass. So you can see their habitat. Looks like they got access to go around to the other side. See both sand cats now. Ooh, three of them. Oh my goodness. They are so cute. Wow. Very cute kitty cats. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Sign says these are kittens. Yeah, sand cat kittens. Super cute. 
Got a red-tailed boa constrictor. Ooh, very nice. Snake's name is Sylvester. Sylvester the snake, all right. A California king snake. Wow, that's a nice looking snake right here. Really like the colorations. Really nice. Got a Mally Aromastix. This is the habitat. I see him right down below in a little cave. There we go. There we go. Let me see the tail. Got a curly haired tarantula. So checking the habitat. I was looking all over the place, but what I do see. As I see tarantula legs sticking out. So that's about as close as I'm going to get. We got fennec fox. Got one here. You see their giant ears. Helps regulate their body temperature. Oh, this one just turned around. It's like it's missing its right eye. Yeah, it's missing its right eye. A lot of times animals are at zoos for different reasons. Conservation is one of the, the main reasons, but also injuries such as this. This little fennec fox would not be able to survive on its own. I got black heller monkey. You see heller monkey's got a really nice size habitat. One napping in the hammock. Looks very comfy. So, zoo is located inside Ross Park. So you got a lot of other stuff that's outside of the gates of the zoo or perimeter. A little bit of a walk coming here. You got spread your wings. American crow. Red tailed hawk. Eastern bluebird. Great horned owl. Turkey vulture. And bald eagle. So, yeah, you can see the names of all these birds. And the size difference. Alright, black vulture. So yeah, the vultures around the side. Around the back, actually. You looking for bugs, perhaps? Checking for something. So the vulture has access to go in the back here. So I don't see the vulture out in the front at the moment. An Eastern screech owl. And barred owl. See the one owl here. Very nice looking bird. Got snowy owl. And I see two of them. Oh, that's a beautiful owl. Other one on the left hand side. Hi, pretty owl. How are you doing? There we go. Oh, we got peafowl. Also known as the peacock. And Lenny Amherst pheasant. I think they got a lot of space in here. There we go. A lot of zoos have their peacocks out, you know, roaming around. 
guess it's not suitable at this place. Got the pheasant laying down. Love the coloration on its tail feathers. Got a nice bright orange. Right at the pathway from this, you got restroom locations. All right, so the Ross Park Zoo is the fifth oldest zoo in the United States. It was established in 1875. So this place has got a lot of history to it. They've done changes over the years, updated some stuff. Uh, obviously this place needs a little bit of influx of cash to update some of their habitats. But for its age, it's pretty neat to see this place still going strong. I'm gonna stop back by, go in the other direction. Get a little better view of the vulture. Hi. Hello. All right, so I backtrack just a little bit because I'm gonna head this area right over here. Got Wolf Woods. There we got Arctic Fox. All right, got two of them in here. Another one off to the side. I think they're both napping at the moment. This one's got more of a white coloration to it. So yeah, they got some good space in here. All right, the zoo has Red Wolf. So this building that I'm in is very modern. And you get lots of viewing areas to see into the different habitats and it goes around the back information here America's wolves you got the gray wolf, the red wolf Mexican wolf, eastern wolf Got dangers and solutions. That's how wolves can be saved. Give wolves room to repopulate. Create laws to protect wolves. Release wolves where they have been killed off. Catch and breed the last individuals, and of course, work together. When the one million wolves used to roam the lower 48 states, this is what's left. Red wolf was the most critically endangered, followed by the Mexican wolf. Eastern wolf is a newer species. Alright, so the red wolf's habitat is very expansive as you can see. Lots and lots of space. So I do not see the wolf at the moment. I'm going to guess there's more than one in here. So I will check back. This is also another habitat. Also pretty good size. And a third habitat. All right, so I'm heading back this way. Down this route is towards the front. That's the way I took to show you all the different birds. And now I'm gonna head to the left. Got Leopard Spot Snack Shack. This is their menu board. Got a little playground area. Uh, so just next to the playground is a seating area that's covered with this tent. So if you get food from the snack bar, you got a place to sit and relax. Got this placard here. 
In loving memory of Esther M. Griffin. So uh, she was a very exceptional person. Got long-tailed chinchilla. Also more fennec fox. So I do not see the chinchilla, but I do see a fennec fox right in the back. So I'm not sure where the chinchilla is. Because I don't see it in the other habitat with the fennec fox. One of my decided is cute little fennec fox. Let me wake you up, sweetheart. I'm sorry. Apparently scared the bejeebers out of it. Oh, I got bitterong. Bitterong habitat. It's very nice looking. Trying to see if I can find him. Bitterong is right on top. There we go. Just standing up just a second ago, right before I got my camera out. It's like having a bath. Very, very nice. So I'll stop back by. I'm going to get a little bit better view. We've got some nice bear statues here. This is right here, half mile walked. This is from the entrance. Oh, we got great cats of Asia. All right, we got a mer leopard. Yes. Very nice. Got lots of stuff to climb on. Wow. Little cave. We also got snow leopard. Snow leopard's habitat. Ooh, ooh. Almost missed a snow leopard. Didn't even notice. Here we go. In the corner, found a little bit of shade, taking a nap. Got this long, fuzzy tail. So if you ever saw the movie Kung Fu Panda, the main antagonist of the movie was a snow leopard. Just kind of just standard contemplating. At the Amur River region. Amur leopard versus snow leopard, how are they different? And how are they similar? This area looks relatively new. It's nice to see the zoo is adding on stuff. All right, we got African spurred tortoise and red-footed tortoise. See that? You see African spurred tortoise right in the back. Those of you that are in the know, I have a tortoise just like this at home named Sheldon. Yep, he roams in my backyard. Helps keep the grass cut. And that's not the reason I have them. So I don't see the red footed tortoise at the moment. But it looks like they both have access to go in the back in this barn area. So I'll check back. Alright, they've got African penguins. Hey everybody! So yes, these are warm weather penguins. These penguins don't live in the Arctic. 
And yes, you do have lots of water. All penguins love the water. Very nice, man. I, this is this is impressive. I said for a smaller zoo, they have a fantastic variety of animals. But some species wouldn't even expect to see at a smaller facility. Looks like a cool air blower right there. As I can see sort of the, uh, the, the mist coming down. This one here in the little cave keeps making the noises and making the other ones make the same, uh, same calling noise. Hey! And that little black, black thing that you have in their mouths, that's water. <laughs> hey everybody! Alright, next area. This is right in the front of the pathway where I just saw the tortoise and the penguin in the back. We got red-footed tortoise and yellow-footed tortoise. All right, so I checked all sides of this habitat and I'm not seeing any of them right, right now. So they might be inside the other part. We've got prehensile-tailed porcupine and golden-headed lion tamarin. Tamarin. Porcupine. So yeah, these critters got all sorts of stuff to climb on. Now we're getting Linnaeus's two-toed sloth. Yeah, that's curled up. The sloth sleep up to 15 hours a day. All sorts of stuff to climb on. So yeah, the inside of this greenhouse is really nice. We got a green aracari and yellow footed tortoise. Hi, there's tortoise. So it's in here instead of the other habitat. Oh my gosh, you are such pretty birds. Hi, pretty bird. Hi, hi, pretty bird. Ooh, look at that. Birds came up really close. Hi, how are you? Wow. Love the nice yellow and black. What about the yellow on the beak also? Hi, pretty bird. Hi, pretty bird. Hi, pretty birds. Hi. How are you? So yeah, they got like a full-size tree in there with them. Look at the Joffrey's Marmoset. Got several of them in here. So cute and fuzzy. Another one. This is like staring into my soul just a moment ago. I'll climb down to the bottom. I also like the coloration of these guys. Yeah, they're so fuzzy wuzzy too. Oh, and there's so the area we're just in represents the rainforest. 
So a lot of products that you probably use every single day comes from the rainforest. Got spices, house plants, medicines and food, pets, even home repair. So occasionally I've noticed some old remnants from habitats that used to contain animals. But more than likely as they build newer, more modern habitats, the animals have moved to better accommodations. So there's nice benches to sit on over here. See nature post. That's blocked off, so this used to contain something. All right, some great cats of Asia. That's the pathway that it came up. I'm gonna head over here to the other pathway. See here, three quarters of a mile walked. Gonna go up a slight incline. Got native animal trail. Black bear, red-tailed hawk, and timber rattlesnake. So yeah, you see any of those types of animals and habitats like this. Desha animals would be gray wolf, pleated woodpecker, and ring neck snake. Also peregrine falcon, box turtle, coyote, fisher, North American porcupine, and big brown bat. Got this elevated area. This is other side view of the red wolf habitat. Yeah, this is all new. It's all nice sparkly wood. So a gentleman just driving by on a golf cart and I asked him if the red wolves were out. And he said they do have access to be out here. But it's entirely up to the wolves whether or not they want to be outside or in their indoor habitat. They get to see so much stuff and the red wolves have so much space. You see this little cabin looking like thing in the back. That's the building I was in earlier. So I'll keep checking. Hopefully I'll get a view of them. There's sort of big rustling in the leaves here. That was maybe the, the, the wolves, but nope. There's a couple chipmunks chasing each other. Couple cute little chippy monks. Don't have chipmunks in Florida. But these little things are super quick. You're going along the pathway. Got this little mini cabin or shed. There's a lot of stuff up on the trees. Looks like uh, knitting, crocheting. All sorts of stuff here. Danny's Magical Mystical Musical Garden. It's quite interesting. All sorts of stuff. It's the trading post. So perhaps this is a small gift shop that's open certain parts of the year. This looks like some of the roads I've driven on on my road trip. Kept seeing signs falling rock zone. It's like, great, that's all I need is a big boulder to land on my car while I'm driving by. But yeah. So yeah, the zoo winds its way through all these mountains. So you do come here, be prepared to walk. Because a lot of different areas of the zoo are quite spread out. Yeah, there you go, one mile walked. Still more to go though. All right, so the pathway brings you right back to the entrance. At zoo exit, 
Do you have a Zuvenir's gift shop? I will check that before I leave. This is interesting. This is from one of the comic strips. I don't know if it's the Wizard of It, of it or Zid or something like that. All right, so I've walked the one mile trail. Very, very scenic, it's really nice. So I'm very, very impressed with the variety of animals that this zoo has to offer. There was a couple that I did not get to see, the red wolf being the main one. So I'm gonna rewalk everything and hopefully see a few that I didn't get to see the first time. And both red pandas are still inside. I don't like they're more comfortable being inside. Oh, one's got some scratchies. Scratchy, scratchy, scratchy. It's cool, you get to see the face of the one and the big bushy tail of the other one. See a black and white rough lemur. Got one on the ground, just kind of sprawled out. It's very comfortable. The second one up top. But yeah, this guy looks super comfy, man. Super comfortable. All right, so I've seen quite a few of these little covered buildings. So I'm thinking that perhaps they have a, a tram service or something that goes through here, maybe on peak days. I'm not really, really sure. I mean, there's no signage stating that. Or it could be something that they had in the past. I mean, it would make sense. Not everybody's able to walk a whole mile up, up hills. Yep, yep, yep. Right here. Same spot as before. Your pretty cat. There we go. Zoomed in on the cougar. It's looking right at me. Looking right at me. And the Mally Aromastix is still in, in the little cave right there. You can see a little bit more of them. But this is what they look like. So it looks like I got just a tail and it's one little hind leg. Back of the sand cats. Dad. Got three of them in the basket. And one right down here on the windowsill. My gosh, these things are adorable. Yes, here's another one of those little covered buildings. Alright, came back to the Amur Leopard. We're up close now. Wow. Such a beautiful cat. Such a beautiful cat. Don't want to be too loud and wake her up. She's definitely a pretty kitty cat though. Ermer Leopard also has access to go in its nighttime habitat. But rather be outside. So evidently the snow leopard went inside. It's so right there. Area's open. So I had a good view of the snow leopard. It was over in that one back corner earlier. Alright, so back over to the African Spur Tortoise and Red Footed Tortoise habitat. Still only see the African Spur Tortoise. Came back to the penguins and they're all congregated over by the one door. I'm actually surprised the zoo doesn't have this doorway open for them. Back at the prehensile tailed porcupine. And see there's two of them now that I see. You can see outside the habitat. See a little tail all curled up. Up, up, up. There's a tamarin. Back at the back of the Arakaris. Oh. 
and the bite to eat. Very pretty birds. All right, so I did not see the red-footed tortoise in either of the two habitats, so I can say this is a no-go. I got the Chipmunk Alley Nature Trail. That's the pathway I took earlier. So I think go a little bit of uh, off the trail walk. Get information about the Northern Red Oak. That's this big tree right here. Don't have these down south. Get Eastern Hemlock. Got a bunny rabbit inside. Not a real bunny rabbit, but you know. Pretty interesting. Got American Beach. Got Eastern White Pine. It's this. Do you get lots of pine trees in Florida? Just saw a chipmunk run this way. It's supposed to be in a chipmunk trail. What's it doing over here? All right, so the only other animal that I did not see is the red wolf. That is gonna be the tough part. Especially since someone can actually tell me if the red wolf is outside or not. Since they have access to be in the back, or be outside. So this is what the red wolf looks like. Very pretty looking wolf. So I am going to keep looking. Hopefully I will be able to see one of them. And they have multiple wolves, it's not just one wolf. You can see the worldwide location in the wild of these red wolves. This little bitty portion of North Carolina. And then the sign here, you know, common is the green. Rare is the lighter green. Then you got vulnerable, endangered. And they are critically endangered. They're that close to being extinct in the wild. All right, so evidently the long-haired chinchilla is not out. Because I do not see it. So unfortunately, long-haired chinchilla is a no-go. I came back to Arctic Fox. The one walking around. Up, oh, up, oh, one pot. Another one up top sleeping, or not sleeping, just woke up actually. A little bit closer, here we go. My gosh, you just had cute animals. Then you got the other one down. This one's got a more of a grayish color. Alright, so I'm back at the Red Wolf Habitat and the first building I came in. You can actually see right up above there. Right there is where I was earlier. So I am still not seeing any signs of the red wolf. There's lots of places this you know animals could be. See even up by the, the glass here, they can sometimes be. So yeah, I am definitely not seeing any red wolf. Which is a shame because they're just such pretty animals. So I am sorry to say, but unfortunately the red wolf is a no-go. So beyond the fence, let's see other remnants. I'm not sure if this used to be part of the zoo or not. Keep in mind, this zoo's been around since 1875. 
Let's head back up front. And one of the red pandas is finally outside. Don't want to talk to him. Sleep in. Here's how now I can sleep with that with the goats and the sheep. And these guys are making all the noise when I was looking at the red panda. Hi. There we go. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Totally agree with you guys. Absolutely. All right, so going along the path to the ticket center, that's the old carousel building. I just asked, they are renovating the carousels. All the, all the parts, all the horses are in Connecticut being repainted. There's plans to move the entire structure and rebuild it, obviously. Further inside of uh, the park, uh, to make it more accessible to everybody. All right, gonna go inside a Zuvenir's gift shop. I don't want you to touch them. There's all sorts of stuff in here. Got some snakies. Lots of toys for the little ones to buy. Puzzles. Silver different shirts. And got plush. You want to sit on the chair or the monkey? We don't want to get anything on the monkey. Oh, wow. They actually have one of the carousel horses here. Like I said, all the other ones are in Connecticut being refurbished, repainted. Look at that big box. Let's sit down. I'll scoot you all right, everybody, that is going to wrap up my visit to the uh, Binghampton Zoo at Ross Park. Had a fantastic time for a smaller zoo. I mean, they have a whole mile of trails, so it's not really, really small. But as far as the way it, the structures are set up, they're kind of spread out. So there was only a few animals that I didn't get to see. I tried with the Red Wolf. I really did. Went back four or five different times. So I can't stay here all day trying to see the red wolf because there's still no guarantee I'll be able to see it. It's, it's If you're here and you're lucky enough to see it, that's fantastic for you. But I always try and go back at least, at least twice if I don't see an animal the first time. So leave some comments down below what your favorite zoo animal was that I did see today. Like I said they have a very, very cool variety of animals for a smaller zoo. I was quite impressed seeing penguins, you know, that, that, that was really interesting. I do notice that they have some newer habitats that are constructed. I would definitely love to see some of the old wood and wire habitats like the cougars in and the little, the little foxes. I'm not really a big fan of habitats like that, that it's just all wood, all just all open up. It would be really nice if someday they were able to update that to a more naturalistic habitat for the animals. It'd be fantastic to see, but it's all going to take funding. So if you are from this area, support your zoo. It's always important for community to support their zoos. It's amazing what zoos can do when they get support of the communities that they represent. So if you like zoos, I go to zoos all over the country, aquariums, amusement parks, theme parks, all sorts of good stuff. So if you're not familiar with my channel, check out my videos that I got. I got well, almost 400 of them at this point. Everybody else that is subscribed, I appreciate everybody, your, uh, all your support over the years. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.